Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas with another explication request. I'm always excited when it's a request for something that is heavily tested like this. This is a covered call. I'm agreeing to sell stock I own, which is an entirely different proposition than agreeing to sell stock I do not own. Right? We need to be able to distinguish between a covered call and a naked or uncovered call. This is uh, most certainly a covered call. Uh, this is Kaplan QID 1264959. I'll help you with any explication request from any test prep vendor. Just easier if it's a Kaplan question, because you can send me the QID. Uh, if you don't have a Kaplan QBank, it's the best in the business. I highly recommend it. And with my 15% uh, discount code at checkout, Guru 15, you can get it for a little under $56. I think it's $55.80. And for that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look on Kaplan content. All right, let's get busy on this question. A customer buys 300 shares LMN at 45 and writes 3LM August 45 calls at 4. So, you know, uh, fire up the T. That's always what we're going to do is fire up the T. So we can track money in and out of the account. So when we buy 300 shares at 45, and then we obligate ourselves to sell the stock at the strike price. So I'm a big fan in process. It's a buffet. Take what you like, leave what you don't. But I uh, suggest that underneath that contract specification is what you should write, right? That's an obligation to sell the stock at the strike price. And then uh, we paid out 45. I also suggest you do things on a per share basis. So we're out 45 for the stock. Some people use pluses or minuses. I use dollars out, dollars in, but I'm showing you what that would look like if you were using that dollars, uh, dollars, or excuse me, minus sign. Uh, we brought in four points for the option. So please note, we are now out, out net out of pocket 41. That is our break even. Now 45 of the stock, we did get some price decline protection. Now, the thing I like about the T is if you get the T fired up, now you can simply plug in the numbers being offered to you and see if it does make sense, right? The question, by the way, please note, I haven't read the question yet. You could you get in the habit of doing what I call the initial setup before you even look at the question, right? So I did my setup. It says the customer will profit under all the following circumstances except. So one way to proceed is you could have done the break even at 41 and said, well, okay, this is a stock position. Stock dominates. So I want the stock to go up. I don't want the stock to go down. I do, in a covered call, get some price decline protection. I lowered my out-of-pocket cost from 45 to 41. But, you know, mainly it's about, you know, not being foolish and not doing a naked or uncovered call. All right, so all the following except. So it's asking me which one of these numbers is not profitable. Now, what I suggest you do, if you get the T, right, you can use process of elimination. I try 41. And if I uh, plug uh, 41 in there, that's the break even, right? 45 out, 45 in, but it says below 41. So yeah, below 41, that's not going to be profitable. So that's one way to proceed, right? Uh, it remains at 45. So let me plug 45 in there. That is indeed profitable, right? Because of the stock is 45. I paid 45. I can sell it at 45. I get to keep the four. I made four points. By the way, the maximum gain is indeed the four points, right? Break even, 41, net out-of-pocket cost to the strike, 45. So that uh, is profitable. It says uh, LMN rises and the calls are exercised. So that means I have to sell the stock at 45. And again, that is profitable. It says the stock is between 41 and 45. Well, let's see. 42 would be in between those two numbers. And yes, it's profitable. 44 would be in between those two numbers, and it's profitable. Yeah, between the break-even of 41 and the strike price, I do make money. So when we were about 41, I make money. And remember, the question is, below which do I lose money, right? And so the answer to this question is A, if I'm below 41, which is my break-even, I uh, lose money. So the answer is A. Hope you have found that helpful. You are going to receive uh, more than one covered call question on your Series 7. You should definitely know suitability. Why do you do this to generate additional income? This one's a little funky because we're writing at the money. So, you know, we have two versions or three versions of a covered call. This is a little beyond 
well, oh, I don't know, bonus edification, I'll call it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we have three types of covered calls. We have bullish covered calls. That's where I buy the stock at 45 and agree to sell it at a higher strike. We have neutral covered calls. That's what this one is. I'm buying at 45. I'm agreeing to sell it at 45. And we also have, surprisingly enough, uh, bearish covered calls where I agree to sell uh, in the money, right? I agree to sell at a lower price than I actually bought the stock at. Uh, I don't think you're going to have to deal with that on your Series 7. I think you're simply going to have to be able to do break-even. Uh, you should definitely know you don't participate past the strike price, in this case, 45. And then again, why do you do it? Generate additional income. Okay, well, I hope that was helpful. And remember, inch by inch, your Series 7 is a cinch. Yard by yard, your Series 7 is hard. And I'll see you for the next explication request.